<laughs> release your ex let go control issues religious factor oh my goodness you guys already know how i feel about this religious factor card here it's the transformation it's the death energy for me the judgment the tower and the temperance so there is a need to just again it was a catalyst whoever this is this was a catalyst in your life release your ex and let go control there is a need to need to um release this like allow this situation to unfold naturally there are things that you need to allow um to unfold naturally so the patience of course capricorns you guys are very patient i know i know but as your sister capricorn here it's just the way it rolls right for us wedding the situation involves marriage i feel like that's that new energy so if you guys really want um next level of commitment you have to release this there's a cleansing that's necessary um to prepare you this needs to be forgotten in order for you to really vibrate on this high level um and it's going to require you to keep an open mind codependency yeah so this could be an energy it does feel like an energy of codependency here where this attachment to the specific energy or an ex or energetically a memory for some of you okay but you know it's one of those things well it's like well this is how it was with this person and, and those things need to be kind of still shut away right keep an open mind and obviously i feel like this, this chemistry is to extend extend yourself right extend yourself if it if it a connection is what you truly want and i feel like that's when that will come in it's going to come in um but this mercury retrograde for a lot of you this is why this is here because i haven't received this kind of energy for capricorn like this i don't i can't even remember so um capricorn this mercury retrograde is important for you to really close out so let's see what else we've got here, Capricorn. You know, I usually do my general reads, but my love reads have been kind of general lately in terms of really focusing on transitions for each sign. So it's like, you know, my team, it doesn't want me to really, in, really um, focus too much on past energy in the sense of, you know, like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, Capricorn, you guys, look at this energy here. I told you death would come out. Look at this, you guys. It, it's like an, it is what it is. I can't, I don't even know what to tell you. I can't give you any better news. It just is what it is. You know, it's definitely alignment. You've got chakras showing up here. Throat chakra, base chakra. Being honest with yourself. You've got an Aries energy here. Emperor. Again, it's the X. I just think like, this is your person you need to let go. And I think also energetically, this is you taking ownership. Like at this point, you need to have a logical approach um, on what your next steps are but also this is the control energy within yourself that's blocking the chakras and it is causing a little stagnation with this transformation but spirit when they bring you this energy it's like you gotta shake it off already they're not gonna let you sit in it it's just the way it is look at this you guys material six of pentacles with sacred chakra jajai capricorn Something new is going to come, but this needs to be cleared. All right, so let's see what we got here for throat chakra. Yes, throat chakra. And honestly, when it gets like this, it's because something better is coming. So, oh my God, you see, this is in preparation, you guys. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and Six of Wands. I feel like there's a new suitor that's occupying some of you with this Knight of Cups this throat chakra you have a new suitor someone is here i'm not getting this energy for no reason there is someone 
and it's gonna make you move on and i feel like the the tie either an energetic tie um but also let the energy just flow so some of you it's like holding on too tightly in terms of allowing this person in um but this is a new suitor and they see you six of wands they see you they see you they recognize your strengths i feel um and they're very focused on you you do there is a new suitor and if anything there's a new suitor coming because we have the ace of cups this new energy so there goes that new energy i was feeling give me one of the space chakra wow hmm. lovers capricorn <laughs> i you know what i'm just getting i'm getting that whoever this new suitor is or the new suitors or the attention because this could also be there's look six of wands is a lot of attention it's attention um and you embracing this attention is going to allow you to open up so don't control let it unfold you know it's it's with the base chakra and the lovers i feel like this is good energy so i feel like some of you you know maybe for a while didn't get the tingles on the lower sacral right so we have sacral right you know how we saw sacral chakra i'm gonna put it here because i feel like it's necessary so your tingles your tingles in your sacral i feel like someone's stirring it up and it's almost like reigniting something within you and i feel like you're wait you're you're getting ready to move on maybe there's a grief a little bit of a grief grieving stage with releasing a person so we're gonna more on this um emperor energy Give me one of this emperor energy. I just think this is you. Give me one of this emperor energy. Yeah, look at this, you guys. Emperor energy with the seven of swords and the six of swords. So swords energy, this is the mind, the control, you holding on too tightly. And this control issue of doubting what you're finding, a lot of doubt again it's controlling right if you guys want this ten of cups then you are going to have to release the control be more in the flow go with the current here with the six of swords not against the current but flow with the current mentally allow yourself to mentally open up to be able to embrace this new connection or these new suitors that want to get to know you um give me one of this death energy and I feel like these suitors will be pivotal. Mm, energy. Sun, beautiful, you guys. With the magician. Talk about alchemization. This has a positive outcome. So this is good. You know, what's happening is all for the best. Um, I think you're going to be happier than you know. Okay, more of the sacral energy. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are going to be so happy. Someone's getting, you know what? That's what I'm saying. I feel the tingles. All this energy here is tingles. And you guys know what I mean by the tingles, okay? So there is someone stirring you, stirring up like interest here. And um, forget, forget about the past. Enjoy, embrace this new beginning. It could be an air sign here. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini again. Gemini twice. Leo here. Scorpio, um, and Aries. But yeah, you gotta open yourself up. This is what it's feeling like, and you know fine with ease right going with the flow with the six of swords with ease getting to know someone i feel like even though these tingles exist there will be maybe even some caution you know take your time i feel like these suitors are going to like you very much because they feel like they're very focused continue with the throat chakra here being honest and true i feel like even just the authenticity that you're bringing in um with with how you're communicating is really having an impact on the way they view you there's a there's a level of respect here so um i don't even want to i was going to pull some guidance but 
Let me see something. Who is this new suitor spirit? What can we add for this new suitor? Because I'm curious. Oh my goodness. Capricorn. Patience. Justice and the Empress. Are you kidding me? So it could be a Sag. We got um, two Libra energies here. We have Pisces here. So this is strong energy. And look what popped out. Ace of Pentacles. So and it fell on the Ace of Wands. So this is definitely a new beginning. Um, this new suitor is not only that, it's a pentacle, so it's serious. We've got the Empress showing up with the justice. So this is going to be a really, this is going to be someone who's going to actually bring you more balance. This is a better person overall. I feel like it's going to be a deeper connection here with the High Priestess. And um, you're going to have fun. This person is going to give you tingles. <laughs> we probably haven't felt them in a long time. Capricorn. All right, so let's see what the blockages are. Yeah, fear. Fears. You and your lover. Fear being hurt again. You know, this to me has to do with your blockages. So obviously with everything you went through, you know, it's like you're you're going in with caution and rightfully so. And the other blockages. Yep. Mindful. Practice inner peace. And just, you know, find balance. Don't allow the past to disturb that peace and that flow of allowing this amazing opportunity that wants to come in for you you know and shower you with love all right so let's see what's the untold message of the heart here battle i feel like this is you i've tried my best to move on but i can't seem to let you go it's time to move on it's the battle within yourself needs to stop a magnet i keep being drawn back to you and i can't quite explain why i think you are a magnet and your new suitor um your new suitor is going to be very very magnetized towards you right empress energy you will have someone who's going to bring you balance right your other half basically they see they see you bring balance, temperance, you bring ease to their life. And there's something about you that they see and they recognize and they appreciate here. Um, so I feel like this suitor with this Ace of Pentacles is very um, magnetized towards you. It's a lot of sacral. This is a lot of sexual energy. So um, do, do, I think, I think this is going to be a very generous person, Capricorn. All right, so let's see guidance for Capricorn. Let's see guidance. Love. Oh, my goodness, Capricorn. <laughs> Can this get any better? Oh, my goodness. We did see the Ace of Cups earlier, and you got the lovers. My God. So love thy neighbor as you love thyself. The highest vibration in the universe is love. Open your heart and let love in. That's it. Just let love in only then will you attract it back to you so it's time for you to open yourself up and just let love in let's see one more message from source i really feel this person is going to be very committed and you're going to be very happy ask for help when you need it receiving graciously and authentically is a reflection of your openness to the love of the divine. Co-create your journey through the natural flow of giving and receiving. Yep, that's the flow of the Empress. And you're already in it, or you need to be in it, right? But it doesn't matter because this person sees you at the Empress. So when you, but it's owning it too, because that's when you're co-creating. When you acknowledge, so Spirit wants you, Source wants you to acknowledge um, the journey, you know, acknowledge your grace, acknowledge your authenticity, um, and know that you will be co They want you in that same alignment so you can co-create, um, and things naturally flow to you. And that's what it, it's, it's like, it's going to happen. It's here. You just have to clear a little bit of this and this is here for you. So, Capricorn. I'm going to leave it there. This was a beautiful read. Um, please like, share, subscribe.